Hello everyone and welcome to Metals Blender tutorial. Today I will show you how to make your own precious, also known as the run ring. I will explain how to engrave the text on the ring and also how to use volumetric light. This is the final result, so let's get started. Here we have the default scene. First delete the cube. Now we are modeling the ring. Go to add mesh and select circle go to edit mode hit either extrude and s to scale use 1.1 as the value now at a tries to select everything hit either extrude again and use 0.6 as the value now use loop cut and slide and make a loop cut over here. Hit S to scale that and use 1.1 as the value. Now to make this nice and smooth, add a subdivision surface modifier. For the view, use 3. And for the final render, you will use 5. Now to make the inside a bit more flat, add some grease lines. To do that, hold Alt and click somewhere to select the inside loop cut. Now hold Alt and Shift and select the other loop cut. Now increase its value to about 0 0.2, I think. Yes, that looks alright. Now go out of edit mode because the modeling is done. In shading select smooth. And close this tab. Now go to add, mesh and select plane. This will be our map. It has to scale that. Something like this. Go to edit mode. Hit U to unwrap and go out of edit mode. Now give it the material. Press new and change the color to image texture. Now change the vector to UV and open your image. I will use this image from my map and this one from my text on the ring. It's important that you have black text and the right background. If you now go to the text view, you can see your map. Now go to add, empty and select plain axles. Next select your lamp and change it to a spotlight. Now give your lamp a constraint. You can do that over here. Select track to. Use the empty as a target. Do that on the minus C axis and change up to the X axis. Now if you grab the lamp and move it around, it's always pointing to the target. Now with the one and the numpad to go to the front view. Select your ring and move it on top of your map. Now with zero on the numpad to go to camera view. Go to view and enable lock camera to view. This way you can move the camera along with the view. I also like to have some rotation on the right axis. So select your camera and go to the object tab now this looks alright so disable this button again now it's time to give our ring material so make sure it's selected move this up and change it to the note editor 
Now go to the materials. Press new. And change the fuse to mix shader. Change both these shaders to glossy. For the factor, select layer rate and then facing. If you now go to rendered view, you can see that we already have a silver looking material. Now it's time to change the colors. Make this one a darker yellow. And this one change to a lighter yellow. Also change the roughness. This one goes all the way to zero. And this one enter point one. Now it's time to make the text for our ring. Move that over. Go to displacement and select math. Change add to multiply. For the value, select image texture. Now this connection is wrong. We need the color as the input. For the vector, select UV. And open your image. Now change this to the UV image editor. Over here also select your text image. Now in a 3D view, go back to solid view. Also go back to edit mode. Now hold alt and select one of these loop cuts. It doesn't matter which one. Go to mesh, edges and select mark seam. Now enable face select mode. Go back to front view. Go to wireframe mode. Hit B for border select and select these faces. Now go to mesh, UV unwrap and select cylinder projection. Go back to camera view. Also go back to rendered view. Now over here, press S to scale and X to scale along the X axis. Now move your mouse over the UV layout and hit L for link and selection. Hit G to grab and move it over your text. This one is for the inside. Now this text is mirrored, so go to UVs. Mirror and select X axis. Now with L again for linked selection and select the other UV layout. Hit G to grab and move it over the text for the outside. Now go out of edit mode and change this back to the node editor. Now it's time to make the color for the text. So go to Add, Shader, and select Emission. Also add a Max Shader. Drop that on top of this line. Put the Emission Shader in the top socket. And use the Image Texture as the Factor. Now increase the strength to 5 and change the color to a orange like color. Now 
Now change this back to the 3D view. Now it's time to set up the environment. So go to the world tab. Press use notes. Go to volume and select volume scatter. Change the density to 0.05. Now it's a bit too dark, so select your lamp and go to the settings. Press use nodes. Increase the strength to 20,000. Change the size to 40. And change the blend to 0.6. Now go to front view. And hit G to grab your lamp and move it to about this position. Now go to top view and move it a bit to the back. Next select your empty. Hit G to grab it and move it a bit towards the lamp. Basically, now the image is done, you can now hit the render button and save your image. But I like to add some extra effects in the compositor. To do that, go to the layer tab. Everything that you have created so far is on the first layer, so select that one. I'll rename this render layer to main. Now hit the plus button to add another render layer. I'll name this one mask. This will use the second layer. It won't use the environment, so make sure it's not selected. Next, select your ring and press Shift D to make a duplicate. Hit enter to confirm. Now with M, and move it to the second layer. Now also go to your second layer. And go to the material tab. Delete this material with the X button. Press new. Change the fuse to mix shader. Change the bottom shader to emission. Make the color completely white. For the factor, select Light Path, S Camera Ray. Now go to the Render tab and go to Film, Enable Transparent. Now make sure that both layers are selected. To do that, hold Shift. We are now ready to render, so hit F12. This will take some time. I will be back when the render is finished. After the rendering is done, change this to the node editor. Go to the compositor. Enable use nodes. Now we have two render layers. One is our main and the other one is the mask. First, make some room. Go to Add, Color, and select Mix. Change Mix to Multiply. Now add another render layer. Connect it to the other socket. Now we have the ring separated from the background. Now go to add color and select alpha over. Now 
Now connect the main render layer to the top socket. Now go to add color and select color balance. We can now change the color of the background without affecting the ring. I also like to have some effects on my ring, so go to Add, Filter, and select Glare. Decrease the fade and increase this factor. Set the threshold to about 2.5. Now I will add another glare node. And change tweaks to fog glow. Now the image is done. Don't forget to save it. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to leave a comment. And I'll see you next time.